Chinese travel videos have been really popular recently, and it seems like people are really curious about the reality of China, and people are surprised that China is different than what they think. And beyond the common culture difference and the reality about China, there are also some unwritten rules that you might be surprised if you are not familiar with the Chinese culture. So today, as a native Chinese, I want to share some tips that would help you to avoid some awkward moments if you are planning to visit China. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's talk about greetings. In China, people can seem more open and friendly when it comes to greetings. This is different from the West, where people are more reserved when greeting each other. Why? It really depends on the country. But it's very normal for Chinese people to ask some really personal questions, like "Have you had your lunch already? Where are you going?" If someone asks you really personal questions, like "What's your age? Your salary? Or if you're married?" Don't be surprised. These are really common questions in everyday conversation, and people are not trying to be rude. They are just trying to be welcoming. It's just a way of getting to know you. Well, but there's also something interesting here. Like Chinese people can seem more welcoming and open when it comes to greeting, but Chinese people are more reserved when it comes to emotional expression. Chinese culture has a strong idea of saving face, which means they really want to avoid embarrassing moments or conflicts. So even though that people can seem more welcoming and opening when it comes to greeting, but people are more reserved and unlikely to talk about their emotions. And if you don't want to answer the personal question, it's totally okay to give a vague answer or just gently change the topic. People won't feel offended. I do this sometimes when I feel like the per the question is just too personal. And another difference is when it comes to addressing people in China, especially in formal settings, you are more likely to address the person by their family name or their title, like. Wang Lao Shi, Professor Wang, or Zhang Jingli, Manager Zhang. Calling someone directly by their first name can seem too casual or disrespectful, especially the elders. While in the West, it's the opposite. It's totally fine to call someone by their first name. I remember the first time that I went outside of China and I went to Brazil. And it was really awkward and strange for me to call my professor just directly by his name. And if you are invited to someone's house, it would be very appreciated if you bring some little gifts. It doesn't need to be something fancy, just some fruits or drinks. And if your friend has a kid, you can bring a box of milk. Showing up empty-handed in some situations can seem like very impolite. We don't bring gifts if we are going to visit a close family member or a close friend. We only do this when we want to show our respect, and we are not that close with the person that invited us. If you are invited to someone's home and they ask you to join the dinner, then you need to know that the settings are very important. Normally, the best spots are saved for the elders or guests. It's normally the head of the table or facing the door. So if you don't know how to do this, what I would do normally is I wait for other people to sit first, and I would choose what's left. And Chinese meals can be a little bit noisy. You will see that people are talking quite a lot. However, in the West. From what I noticed, I'm not sure if I'm correct or not. People are more focused on maintaining an elegant and quiet atmosphere, and I think in the West, people don't talk as loudly as we do, which is a very big difference for me. And when it comes to sitting in the West, it's also very different. I think people tend to give the best spots for women, which is very nice. Next is something important at the dinner table. You know, in China, we don't have a separate plate for each person, so we always have a few dishes for everyone to share. So you need to pick the dishes all the time. And in this situation, it's a little bit impolite to move things around and just try to find the things you like. So what we normally do is we just pick directly what we have touched. Otherwise, what you can do is just 
pick everything you like and put it in the plate and you just don't need to pick up dishes all the time. The next tip is if you already know how to use chopsticks, never stick your chopsticks upright in your rice bowl. Because in China, it seems like the incense sticks at the funeral, which means really, really bad luck. Instead, you can put your chopsticks neatly next to your rice bowl or just put on the chopstick holder if there's anyone. In China, because of the culture, Chinese people are educated to be modest, while in the West, I think people are more open and direct. For example, if someone gives you a compliment, Chinese people are expected to be humble and just downplay it, like saying something like, oh, that's not true, but maybe the person is very proud of it inside. I think in the West, people would just say thank you and just accept it. But I think it's a very small difference, but it's very nice to know, I think. Your private space will definitely be invaded if you come to China. You know, China is a very big country with lots of people, so things can seem a bit crowded at times. You might find people standing too close to each other, especially in quiz or public transportations. People are not trying to invade your space, it's just a daily life here. You will also find out that everything is a little bit louder and noisier here in China. And don't be surprised, people are not rude or not educated, it's just how we communicate. So these are some of the tips that I've thought about that might be useful if you are trying to visit China or if you're just curious about the Chinese culture. And let me know in the comment section if you have noticed some cultural difference or something that you didn't expect but you've noticed since you came to China. My name is Diana. Thank you for watching this video. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to support this channel. And I see you next time. Bye bye.